Hey guys, if you spend any time at all in Japan, you are definitely going to see this scene. Almost all convenience stores, doesn't matter what franchise it is, all convenience stores have the same design. Across the front window, they have a rack with all the magazines and books. And pretty well any time, 24 hours a day, there will be random dudes standing there reading magazines and books. And they'll vary in age from high school students to old men and everybody in the middle. Usually men, occasionally a woman, but almost always, always men. So, they'll have a quick look at what they're reading. There's a variety of magazines and books, of course. The usual thing, sport, that sort of thing. And then the manga... Interesting combinations of manga and girly books. So half manga, half boobies. So this is what they're reading. Apparently the convenience stores like it because it makes it look like the store's busy. And as we've discussed in previous videos, Japanese people like to go places where it's busy. So if they see a shop with lots of people in there, it makes them more likely to go in. So... We've heard that that's one reason the convenience stores allow this to happen, because, of course, they treat it like a library. They read the thing cover to cover and then put it back on the rack and walk out. So they're not actually buying the books very often. Obviously, some people do eventually, but these guys, obviously, they read it to cover to cover, put it back on the rack and walk out the door. So we've heard that one reason is that the convenience stores like it because it makes them look busy. We've heard also that they like it because they, they think it's good for security to have a bunch of people standing there in the front window. Makes it less likely for them to have any sort of robbery or anything like that happen. So that might be the case too. One disturbing story we've got for you. We were in the convenience store once loading up a basket with just milk and bread and things that we wanted from the convenience store. And there was a guy at one of these racks and he had a magazine in his hand and he turned around and he walked quite often just next to the racks here is where the toilet is in the convenience store. And he's turned and walked straight into the toilet with the magazine in his hand. So I was like, t a double look at that. I was like, what? Did he just walk into that toilet with that magazine? I think he did. So, so we kept putting things in the basket and sort of lurked around for another five minutes until he reappeared and he came back with the magazine in his hand and put it back on the rack and left the store. <laughs> so we don't want to know what was happening in there. We don't know. We don't want to know the details of that. But it makes you think twice about actually buying one of the magazines off the rack, doesn't it? We don't know who's been who's been looking at it or where they've been looking at it or what they've been doing with it. It's disturbing, isn't it? But. It's a funny thing, isn't it? Because in a lot of countries, the owner of the store would say, you know, this isn't a library, get out of here. But they, they're quite happy to let these guys do it. They'll be doing it all day. All day. Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, there it was. Convenience store readers in Japan. More videos coming soon.